We are back from Costco. It is already dark outside, so sorry about the weird lighting, but we went late tonight, and this is my grocery haul for the rest of this month of November. It is the second week of November. I don't even know what day it is. The ninth, maybe? And we are a family of 10. I'm Julie. If you haven't met me before, welcome. And we have um, a few uh, disclaimers before I start. First of all, we have our freezer stocked with beef. We were given a lot. I don't even know how many pounds of beef it was. What's your guess, Jason? Well, don't think about that. Pounds a lot of beef um, lots, was lots given to us by Jason's uncle. And so that is all in our deep freezer. So I did not have to buy any beef whatsoever. I also had one whole chicken left over from my last grocery haul. We get fresh milk delivered weekly. We get about four gallons usually, if she has it, four gallons a week delivered. Um, so that is a, obviously a huge blessing for groceries, and that is $7 a gallon. And then our chickens um, have been slowing down in their egg production a lot, to where I actually did buy two dozen eggs for this grocery haul, but we do get some eggs daily from them. So I think that's everything I have to tell you. My total for this Costco trip was $392.44, which includes um, some diapers and toilet paper I'll show you in just a moment. One more thing Jason reminded me is that um, our neighbor who's a farmer um, gave us a few hundred pounds of squash. A lot. Spaghetti squash, butternut squash, and a different kind of squash that I can't pronounce, some Italian squash. So a lot of our recipes this month and for the next few months is going to be squash. We also still have 40 pounds of sweet potatoes that we were given and we have probably three of those big bags of apples and one bag of oranges left over. So that was all of our fruit um, left over from last month. Okay, this is an overview of what's on the table here. This is $392 worth of Costco goodies. So let's just start over here. We have onions. I ran completely out. That just almost never happens. Peanut butter, honey, are you going to help me point? Good, I won't have to then. Elsie will be my assistant. Um, some people are curious about the prices, so I'm going to, since this is not a huge haul and I have a little more time, I'm going to tell you a few of these prices as well. Um, that big old bag of onions there was, this is going to be hard to do, guys. I'm no Jamerel Stewart. She knows her prices so well. Uh, the onions, that was $5 for that big bag. And the honey there, which they have been switching their honey around a lot lately. It's been just, I, I don't know exactly what's going on, but this is wildflower honey. And let's see if I can find that price on here. That's $11.89. And this is a, a big five pound of honey. Okay, we have these peanut butters, which are about, whoops, gotta keep your head back. They're about $9 a piece um, for two really huge jars. These were $1.79 a pound for these organic chicken drumsticks, and I'm also going to be making um, bone broth with the bones. We have two different types of bread. This is just an organic whole grain bread, and then we have one of the gluten-free bread. This one is $6.59 for the um, two-pack, and I don't, I don't see that one on there. Let's see if I can find it. I'm curious about that. Uh, I don't see it here. Maybe it was free. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Okay, that's $8.99. $8.99 for this two-pack. This is not our very favorite gluten-free bread in the world, but the one that we like to get, um, the Deland Bakery bread, I can only get from a health food store over in Illinois, which is like an hour from us, so that, that works. That works for now. Okay, we got these nut bars, and I also got, um, oh, there they are. Thank you, Samuel, the oats and honey. These are for our afternoon snacks. Very good. Okay, we have um, the oats. I'm going to make granola with those, and just oatmeal, of course. Celery sticks were kind of short this time. Isn't that funny? They usually seems like they're much longer. Um, celery sticks were $5.49 for this big package. The... Um, Two dozen eggs, like I said, mushrooms. These bananas are $3 for these um, three pounds of organic bananas. I am using this time, for the very first time, I'm going to be using the cookbook, um, Cook Once, Eat All Week. 
And so I picked out several weeks in that book. If you've seen that cookbook before, you'll know what I'm talking about. I will link it below in case you're interested. It's really neat. So it actually does, um, it does your whole week of planning for you. So they will pick a few things like maybe it'll be beef, Brussels sprouts, you know, there'll be like three different items. And then you prepare the bulk of that at the beginning of the week. And then your meals, three of the meals throughout the week are all what, from the ingredients that you prepared ahead of time. And then you just have to supplement in the other, you know, couple meals or she's, she has the recipes large so that you could have them two nights that week. Anyway, I'm trying this out for the first time. And so a lot of the recipes, um, <laughs> oh my word, you just never know what's happening behind you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot of the recipes are coming out of that, so I will I will share that uh, later on. But Okay, so we have two big bags of Brussels sprouts. We got some more carrots. We were excited to see just the regular old or orange carrots were back this time. And it's a big old 10-pound bag with, um, they were 5 pounds, I feel like, before. Let's see if I can find that on here. Be gentle with that, please. The carrots were $7.99 for that big 10 pound bag. Okay, we have our romaine hearts that we like and those last really well. We don't eat quite as many salads uh, when it gets to be colder weather. We're just not quite as um, in the mood for it, but you know, you do what you do. Okay guys, let's pause on the drumming, okay? So that they can hear me, thank you. Okay, these are not something I normally buy. However, they were on sale. It was an instant rebate. And these came to, am I seeing this right? They were $1.70. So that is a really, um, really great deal, obviously. So that's what I got this month. And we will be doing those for um, the yogurt snack day. Okay, then I just have some more frozen things. I have the broccoli, the corn, and they were out of green beans sad but we did get this vegetable stir fry blend got some mozzarella cheese some more butter two of these sharp cheddar cheeses I'm going to be making shepherd's pie which we found out is actually called cottage pie if you make it with beef and just to um, be lazy I, I bought the pre-made mashed potatoes instead of making my own mashed potato topping also a sour cream did I mention that yet okay now over here I was finally out of cinnamon. This thing is huge. It's less than $3 and it lasts me months and months. And the same with this cumin. Um, so I got, I got both of those. Now this, can you believe this thing? Look at how huge that is. I really like pink Himalayan salt. pink salt. And this entire tub was only, I think it was about $6.50 for this huge five pound tub. So I was really excited to see that. Okay, we have our pasta sauce. This was under $9 for the four, and they're four big ones. So um, just one of those will last us a meal. I got two of the gluten-free flour. I continue to buy this one because I just haven't found a great alternative. It's $9 for this big five pound bag. Um, and it works, it works just fine. Two of the chips for our nacho week. I just went ahead and got a box of Cheerios. And then my bath tissue, bath tissue, my toilet paper has already been busted into, so the rest of it is gone. We had completely run out. That's one of the reasons we had to run to Costco. And then I got a big box of size four diapers. Also not pictured here is cat food. And that is it for the month of November.